As co-host of Bravo's Celebrity Poker Showdown, Phil Gordon has seen more sitcom stars lose money than Aaron Spelling. <laughs> oh, sorry. Now he's here to show us how to make this holiday season a little extra profitable. Phil, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you. Uh, so you've, you've seen a lot of celebs do the poker thing. Uh, is there a best? Is there a worst? <laughs> the, uh, the best celebrity player actually hasn't played on Celebrity Poker Showdown. I think uh, Tobey Maguire is at the top of the list right now. Like legitimately good. He's legitimately good. He's a, he's a fantastic player, very well studied, and uh, plays in big, big, big games. So. Right. And now is he just good because he can keep throwing cash at it even if he's losing? That he's does help. A bit more? That does help. But uh, if you keep losing, you eventually get frustrated. Um, uh, other Who's the worst? Who gets, who gets frustrated the quickest? Who's, who's uh, well, Scott Stapp, the lead singer for Creed, should yeah. definitely uh, <laughs> definitely not stick to singing or poker for that matter. Oh, yeah. ouch. Not good. That's not a war. Good. Yeah. Are you the front man for 311 now? Are you going to throw a yeah. bottle of Jim Beam at him? You or? know, uh, Scott, uh, two pair beats one pair just about in every poker game I've ever okay. played. So he, he plays with God on his side, though. Remember that. Remember he that. does. You're going to be smited. And, uh, and he likes to do this a lot, too, which is, <laughs> I, I've never really understood what this it's is. It's rebellion for the kids. Right? I don't know what it's that a, is. It's a longhorn thing. Uh, the DVD now. Yeah. This is phenomenal. I, I'm, and I'm not and just, you're not just saying that. I'm really not just saying it. I mean, granted, <laughs> I'm paid to say that regardless, but I'm telling you, this is a final table poker. Uh, and Expert Insight is your company Yep. that is uh, taking people really, it's not just explaining how to play. It's kind of, uh, and it, correct me if I'm wrong, it's kind of saying why you play. You know, well, like what needs to be the, done. The whole idea... Traditional uh, teaching, teaching DVDs in particular, are professorial. You, you see a guy standing in front of a blackboard, and he tells you what to do. Right. In this DVD, you only see my whole cards, but you hear all the thoughts in my head. You're inside the mind of the expert as they're applying their trade. So you only see my whole cards. You, see, you hear exactly what I'm thinking when I'm making decisions at the table. It's important to illustrate you're not thinking about, like, oh, sh I got the laundry tonight, and it's cold. I should yeah. have worn better socks. You're literally thinking about every opponent. And every opponent, what scenarios. they have, how much I should bet, if I have the best hand, if I don't have the best hand, why I'm betting when I bet, uh, why I'm choosing the amount that I bet. Uh, reading tells from the players, all that stuff. Right. Everything that it takes to play winning poker is in the DVD. All right. I don't want to be a spoiler, but I do want to give them a little taste. So yeah, let's we're going to show them a little clip from the DVD Final Table Poker. Check it out. He's thinking about it. I'm all in. And he's moving all in. Freeze. Did you see that? That was a tell. Here goes Bruce making a bet from two hands ago. This was when he bluffed all in with only a pair of fives. I'm all in. Now let's compare. Here's the all in bet that Bruce just made. I'm all in. His gestures are almost exactly the same. You are busted, Bruce. That is a tell. Of course, you might just want me to think it's a tell. You just own Bruce Buffer. You just whooped his ass psychologically because of this. Yeah, well, psychologically is the only way I could whip his ass. He is a uh, world-famous kickboxer, kickboxer, so yes. I, I don't want a piece of him there, but uh, at the poker table, he's pretty easy money. Wow. That's, and, but now, uh, I'm not going to spoil the end of the DVD, but it's your DVD, man. You could have gone out in a blaze of glory. Well, you know... Sometimes you win, sometimes right. you lose. Well, and, you I actually know, and I appreciate. I'm not again. I don't want to spoil too much, but I, I will appreciate the ending because uh, you're right. Sometimes you do lose, but we don't want our, our audience clearly not made up of losers. No, I mean yes, they're on the couch over weight eating Cheetos well, right now. We get that, look, but th this is a very difficult game to play well, and there are hundreds of thousands, millions of people out there that that see the players on Celebrity Poker playing badly. You can absolutely play better, and right. it's. There, it's not rocket science. All you got to do is be shown shown how to make the winning decisions, and the DVD does just that. Well, can we do that here live in studio? Yeah. Do you mind? Can you get, let's let's say we're we're a beginner player. We've we've played a couple hands against you know our aunts and uncles. It's the holidays. You're sitting down. It's going to happen. Yeah. So so what are some instant tips to really to really right. you know, rock the house? Uh, one of the most important uh, principles of poker, all forms of poker, no matter what form you're playing, is to play aggressively. Okay, when you play aggressively, you're the person that bets and raises. You're always going to be putting pressure on your opponents. So before you even get a card, you should just push no, it no. all in. Selective aggression. You uh, want to be very selective about the hands that you choose to play. But once you've chosen to play a hand, you're always going to be the person betting and raising. When you bet and raise, you've got two ways to win. Either you can have the best hand or you can convince your opponent to fold. Right. Right. If you just check and call and play in a very passive form, the only way to win is to have the best hand. So I try to give myself two ways to win. I'm very selective about the hands that I choose to play. 
But once I've chosen them to play that hand, my chips are going in the pot. Now, the, the, the other thing that I know, like, you can tell how seasoned a poker player is uh, by, by the, the chip tricks that they know, right? Isn't that another <laughs> thing? Like, you know, I, I tend to build yeah. castles because I can't even do anything. I mean, is there a, is, is there a cool chip trick? Uh, the, the coolest trip, chip, chip trick that I can do is to take these chips, which are yours, uh -huh. and put them in my stack. Ah, uh, all right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I haven't mastered that one yet. Yeah, well, I haven't got that down. Watch the DVD a few more times, and you'll have a shot. I'll get there. Um... Now, now, you know, it, I play... That really is... A, chip tricks don't mean anything. All you want to do is take those chips and put them over here. See, That's I'm what show. it's all about. I'm all show. I don't even know yeah. what a flush is still. So, I play against my grandmother, uh, Lizette Pereira, and God bless her soul. Uh, she doesn't know she's playing cards half the time. I don't even, you know, she barely speaks English. Uh, but she goes... She'll go all in on a, on a pair of nothing. She'll Can go all you, in... Can uh, you give me her address and... <laughs> yes. I'd be happy she is a high roller, Christmas. I'm telling you. She doesn't know it, but she is. But literally, I mean, how do you play against someone whose style yeah. is, I'm just going to go all in and try to scare you every time... Because it, it seems well, that whenever... Well, that's aggressive. Right. She's forcing you to make decisions, and occasionally you're going to make the wrong decision and fold. Against people who just play every hand and play at balls of the wall, wait for a hand that you think's the best hand, and you call them. Right. Is you that know, easy? You may lose. Sure. You may lose. And it always happens that one time I do call them, oh, it just happened to be a king and an ace. I'm winning sorry. the pot is not, is not really the important thing. The important thing in poker is making winning decisions. Okay? You may call your chips, or you may, you may bet and get called with a better hand, the real key is to make the correct decision every single time. You want to get your chips into the pot with the best hand. That's what poker is all about. It's not winning money from your grandma. It's not winning the pot. It's not winning tells. I want to take tells. that old bag for all she's worth. Man. It's just I making just the right decision every single time. All right, I'll give you that. Expert Insight. Uh, okay, we started off with the, with the Texas Hold'em. Yeah. What do we have coming out next? Yeah, Expert Insight's next title comes out January 25th. It's Andy Block, and he's bringing down the house in blackjack. Andy was a member of the MIT blackjack yes. team. Uh, and this teaches how to play perfect basic strategy at the blackjack table, how to count cards, and the real mother load. The mother load that uh, Ben Mazurk wrote about in Bringing Down the House is team play. Right. And that is having one guy at the table counting in disguise and signaling the other people on the team when to come in and make that big bet. And if I'm you can master those three principles... Probably a lot easier to understand when, you, when, you, when it's presented to you in the DVD. Yeah, well. absolutely. And wow. you're inside the mind of Andy Block as he's applying all these things at the blackjack table. And when you can master that you actually have a significant advantage over the house in Las Vegas, and you can win. Phil, thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate it. My pleasure. I, I, and, thank you. and really, everybody at home, seriously, head on over to expertinsight.com to pick up Final Table Poker with Phil Gordon. I kid you not, everybody needs to watch this before you start playing your families for the holidays. You will feel like you know everything.